What up, grinders and grindettes? I go by the name of the Black Abstract if you're new to the channel. So, BMF, Season 1, Episode 2, titled, Stop All These Rumors, I Can't Take It No More. And, uh, and, and, uh, and what I'm looking for. Alright, so, this uh, episode was, uh, it was fat, it had a lot going on in this joint. So, we start with Big Meech. Uh, well, young Meech at this time uh, is speeding in his BMW, about to hit some some Karen out the way at the hospital. He's just flying. What? What? He? You just seeing red? You just see the red on his face. He's he's hot right now. He got a tech in his hand. Why he's taking a tech in the hospital? I don't know, but he's not thinking clearly. Uh, clearly, uh, and he decides that he's going to find his brother instead of just going to. Uh, the, the, the secretary, whoever, and asking, uh, you know, what room is his brother in <laughs> the, the normal way he's seeing red. Uh, I guess he thinks the shooter is in the hospital. I have no idea what's on his mind. Um, uh, and I've been in that situation before, uh, when my brother got shot, uh, you know, I was kind of the same way. I was just like, man, who did this? And, uh, sorry, this fucking chair keep on. Um, so yeah, he's seen Ray. He finds Terry, uh, the officer, um, uh, from the Tyler Perry movie that everybody hates because he did the girl so wrong and I forget his name. And I guess this is Will Harris's brother in real life. Uh, and he was the coach. I didn't know he was a cop in the last episode. I, I must have I forgot that or something. So he's the he's a, actually a detective and he he actually looks out i guess he's on meets in on payroll and he looks out for him he meet, he meets meets at the door he's like yo you gotta hand me that weapon i'll show you where he is yada 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 he's like he ain't saying nothing from so right now this looks like a carjacking uh we walk in a room and we see terry man he got the bullet like still lodged right here Boy, he got some strong bone structures. Uh, and he just starts coding. Uh, you know, he says he says something, and then Meech just, you know, Meech just looks all distraught, and he just starts coding. And uh, they take him to the emergency room, I guess, to do surgery room. Um, as Meech is walking to the lobby, his crew comes up, and, uh, you know, they are trying to figure out what's going on. Kato, uh, B. Mickey, I think that's his name, Bo Mickey, Bo Winkle. Um, B Mickey, yeah, he's chill. I like B Mickey too, man. He remind me of my boy Mike Key, uh, stoner, real reserved, skinny. Uh, but you know he bought that action when it come time to it. Um, so he's they they're all in the lobby. They're trying to figure out me. Just saying, yo, listen, I want somebody watching my family, and I want somebody on the corners, and we need security. We need higher security. So. They like, yo, we run it thin. You know, we ain't got the cash for it, blah, blah, blah. Meech like, yo, I don't care about none of that, man. We I, we got to make this happen. Uh, as as he's saying this, the parents are coming in, and the mom attacks Meech. Like, ah, this is your fault, and blah, 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 blah. And I know that feeling as well, too, because when my brother got shot, I was to blame. Um, I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Uh, But, um... I felt for him a little bit, man, but, you know, me just got how the y, YNW Melly song. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on. So anyway, me hopping his bins and he going to he going to everybody he thinks that has something to do with it. First is his classmate, uh, Terry's classmate who was messing with him because he he got uh, he had a kid on the way. And I last the last review, I was like, yo, this dude is super lame, like. Why the fuck? Why you care what I got? Like who I got pregnant or what I got on my way? Like why you trying to call me out on it in the front? Of, like he was super lame to me. Then he tried to press Terry at the party, but anyway, he runs up on his kid. His kid is scared to death of Meech, <laughs> and uh, Meech wound up putting them paws on him, pitting with the pistol, took his chain, just violated the hell out of this dude. Something I probably would have did in my ear, but he stashed his chain. You bitch ass nigga, blah blah blah, and uh, he sees that this kid didn't have nothing to do with it. But uh, you know, you gotta kind of just scorch the earth, man. You gotta press. You gotta make it. You gotta make it known out here that you that you going for yours and shit. I mean, we see Lamar scumbag ass 
Uh, trying to get in with the 12th Street Boys. And uh, the one dude ain't having it. He like, yo, man, I'm about to cap this nigga. J Mo's kind of like, oh, what made you change your mind? And, you know, uh, Lamar's, you could tell Lamar's running game. He's just like, you know, I had this such and such. And he's like, all right, we're going to put our man with you to, to do drops or some shit. And come to find out, the man they put on him is actually his man from back in the day. But, you know, times change, thug change, and sometimes you got to get on or lay down, you know what I'm saying? So he decided to get down with the, the crew that was, that was coming in. He was just like, yo, when you got locked up, I, uh, you know, I ain't had no work or nothing. So I had I tried to hold it down, but he was just like, man, and eventually it just, you know what I mean, phased out. And uh, I liked it, this dude, man. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what his name is. Don't ask me. Had a few too many, maybe. Uh, but I like this dude. I like I like him and Lamar's dynamic. Uh, he seems like a real one. Uh, he doesn't seem like he's scared of Lamar. So he's talking to him. Like, such and such. Like, Lamar even made a reference. Like, man, light-skinned nigga. And one thing was, he said, man, I've been light-skinned since I came out the pussy. And I ain't never been soft. So... Uh, he got Lamar's respect. Lamar respects him, man. But I liked it, this dude a lot. Uh, and I like the fact that they playing against the 12 Street Boys because I don't like the 12 Street Boys at all. They seem like suckers. Um, so they coming up with a plan to kind of deviate and separate that crew so Lamar and them could come back and take over. And the re and what they're doing is starting a rumor saying J Mo, the leader of the 12 Street Boys, was the one that put the hit out on Terry. So. They see you see a scene where he's spreading a rumor and how it's getting back and yada yada yada, and they got the song. Stop on these rumors, no more. That song is fire too, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, we see that, and then we see a, a scene in the park where it gets back to B, Mickey, and Kato, and their higher muscle is kind of like, yo, man, they saying such and such did it. They saying J Mo did it. Why we not over there riding? What's up with your man Meech? They question the Meech and shit. His leadership. I'm like, ooh. I'm telling mama that y'all was talking about Meech and starting drama. And uh, Kato kind of smooths it over. And we see a little fling going on between B, Mickey, and Kato, man. They got some little, they got some little, is some little chemistry going on, man, between them. And uh, they wind up smoothing it over with the, the, the uh the higher muscle but eventually we find out that 12th street actually paid more for the higher muscle to not protect them so right now they're not really making no money there is nobody on the corners holding it down because they're trying to move the stash from here to there uh just because they don't know where this this incident against terry came from it was an isolated incident uh pre you know private previous to this they weren't like i said in the last interview i'm like yo they seem kind of soft but and I and I said this. I said, listen. Normally, when you get a nigga getting money, you have people try to come at you, and you and if you're not a shooter, you're gonna become a shooter because you go it's, or you just gonna get out or lay down. Like, and if you ain't laying down, you are gonna become an sh active shooter until you hire muscle or whatever. But you are gonna have to let niggas know that you let your gun go off too if you really want respect. And that's where they at with it now because now they, they trying to make it seem they gotta make a they gotta do something. You know what I mean? It ain't like. When ain't little man's got hit, like the head, the head of this organization got hit, and easily too, right in front of his crib. So they got to they got to make a move, and Meech not doing that. So they like, yo, what's going on with it? And um, we see that uh, you know, we see that uh, B Mickey is starting to question their leadership as well. And I don't like the way Meech was kind of like. I'm not going to say he's disrespected B. Mickey, but he was just like, nigga, this my shit. He just had to keep making it known that he ran the organization and, and B. Mickey was under him. He wasn't even taking into consideration like his thoughts for anything. So anyway, we see they move to work to uh, a certain stash they got. And, uh, you know, they, they decide to, to, to stash it there. And uh, Kato notices that it's like food and cigarettes. And she's like, yo, I thought you said nobody lived here. And as she's saying that, she gets attacked by this fiend. And she winds up actually handling herself. Uh, B. Mickey gets turned on instantly. Like, yo, I really like her now. And uh, But in the process, she wind up like, I think it was like a half a key or something. Wind up just kind of falling and dissolving. He like, man, that's $4,000 worth of work, blah, 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 or $6,000. We got to scrounge this up. 
uh, <laughs> they wind up tying the fiend up. Meech winds up coming, talking to him about it. And uh, he not happy about it. He like, man, since I bought your ass in the organization, you just been fucking up. Yeah, nah, nah. Meech is kind of like, he's, he's stretched in, so he's angry. So he's lashing out at everybody. And I'm like, ah, he got to stop this shit, man, because these motherfuckers being loyal to you. You got to kind of like understand you got to try to rule with an iron fist. But at the same time. You gotta be a uh, you gotta be a good leader, and uh, he ain't doing that right now. And um, it's gonna be something with him and beat Mickey. I see, already see it happening. You know what I mean? But um, so uh, uh, fucking Meech's dad is just like I have, I don't like him at all. And it's and the guy that plays his actor plays the same role in everything he's in. He plays the fucking. Aggravated old dad that's just out of touch, and uh, dude, he's just an asshole. Yo, we gotta get rid of Meech in order to preserve, in order to take care of the other family members. And it's just like, dude, Terry's already deep in his shit. He's he in the hospital telling his baby mom why he's shot. I'm not stopping. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm like any other nigga. Watch the watch the. You seen paid in full. You see a uh, AZ's character. That's based off of uh, AZ and Faison, uh, Alpo, Rich Porter, and AZ. They was the three of me. Just the, the whole story is based off of true people. When when that apartment robbery happened, AZ got shot on times and on people died. AZ quit the game. Got the fuck out of there at the height of it. No, no, no. Said nope. I'm not doing this no more. It's not worth my life. Uh, this motherfucker leaning more into it, like shit, fuck it, I ain't die, I'm riding, like I, I like this money, you know what I mean? So his girlfriend, like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why? You could have got the kid shot. You could have something could have happened to me. He was just like, man, I got this. You know what I mean? Like, trust me. You, you know, we gotta make sure our daughter is good. Blah blah blah. I'm like, this nigga crazy as hell. <laughs> Let me get shot, and I, I'm moving to Buffalo. <laughs> oh, I already live in Buffalo. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm like, shit was crazy. So, uh, Meech's mom actually was trying to smooth shit over with his dad. She was just trying to say it from her perspective. Like, listen, we already just Terry got shot, and you know, what I mean, this is tough on us. But if I kick Meech out, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna lose another son and shit. So she's kind of like, uh, trying to make, just trying to be the the the, the level headed one. Even though she was irate at the beginning, she's trying to be somewhat level-headed, and uh, <clears throat> it don't work. Listen, what was up with Lamar banging the fat chick at the restaurant? Super loud, though. <laughs> Man was in her like <clears throat> old lady in there looking like what the fuck? He was beating the walls off that big joint. She came out there same time tomorrow. He's like, yeah, same time, different position. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you ain't get too many positions out of that. But anyway, um. They wind up talking, and uh, prior to this, Lamar goes to meet with his so-called daughter, simping again, trying to get cashed out back. And you could tell she's pregnant in these episodes. Now now you see her. I'm like, okay, she looked pregnant as hell. But he goes to talk to the daughter, and the daughter like, man, I don't even know you like that. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take you. She's like, I don't think I should be going with you. <laughs> and she goes over there, teacher blocks it. He like, he tried to, I thought he was going to beat the teacher up. He kind of chills out. Cashed out, runs up on him later. Like, yo, don't be fucking blah, 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 blah. Which leads back to the restaurant scene. This man who I like, the light-skinned dude, is telling him, like, listen, you got to go about this in a more subtle way. You know what I'm saying? You being super aggressive. Sure, something else. And he tries to, he writes her a letter. And then they wind up meeting up. And he was just like, yo, I'm a, I just want to such and such, such and such. And he kind of smooth it over. So. I see what he's doing. Slow, cashed out slowly but surely, warming back up to him. So it might be some conflict there. But dude don't like me. She like, man, you hanging with these soft, light skin, blah, blah, blah. He a true dark skin because that's the same thing I be thinking. But um, uh, so, yeah, he's trying to get that old thing back still. Uh, while all while devising a scheme to divide the 12th Street boys. I don't know why he's so hell bent on that. Nigga, if you don't get your grown ass and go get a trade and get a job, <laughs> nigga want to be a corner boy. He like 40. But, um, yeah, so we see that happen. Uh, we see that they moved the stash to uh, homeboy's homeboy. He took it to his personal house on his mom's crib to watch it. Now they taking turns watching shifts. He, he B. Mickey comes up. 
actually prior to that, uh, we see um, we see uh, the detective bring J Mo to to Meech and uh, be Mickey. Like he pulled up and I'm like, what the fuck going on here? Like what's going on here? He brings him to him. Uh, fucking Meech is beating the hell out of this dude. Like just crack, crack. Dude, like yo, man. Y'all put the pistol on. He's like, yo, all this over us taking our block back or something like that. Like, it ain't worth it. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. You think I did tear? No. He's like, bro, that wasn't me. Bah. Meech is just clocking his dude. Pull a gun out on him. And the cop told him, he's like, yo, just ruffle his feathers. That's it. That's it. Like, don't murder him. Like, they just beat him up. And I was surprised the cop even agreed to do this. But, hey, dude is down with the cause. Uh, But anyway, he pulls his pistol out, put it to his head. And then J, uh, B. Mickey just comes over. Why Meech is hesitating and just pops do. And they get into a little argument. He's like, yo, what the fuck you do that for, man? You know what you trouble you just caused me? And I'm like, yo, my God. He about to get in trouble by this cop. He going to be in trouble by the 12th Street dudes now because this going to get out. Like, dude don't show up. He he is going to be like, all right, well, something happened to him. He missing or something. So he tell dude, they're like, man, try it. Dude, B. Mickey about to pop Meech because Meech pressing him he like man do it nigga do it and b mickey just chills out and um he like man just clean his fucking body up so he winds up cleaning it up i don't know what he did with the body i don't know if he threw it in the river i don't know i don't even care i know he about to be in hot water because that cop told him like don't kill him he said just ruffle his feather just whoop him out a little bit and me ain't do that so shit crazy and the dude had cuffs on him so i don't know how that's gonna play out uh but anyway uh, Meech and Terry wind up going to the hospital together right after. Uh, he Meech has a little powwow with his mom, she, she kind of reassures him like she got his back, you know what I mean? Like, um, prior to that, his sister uh had left the hospital, so he had to go get her. So, Meech was in and out the hospital, and this was causing like a real rift between the family. They were just looking at him like, You ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know how that feeling is, man, because they was really looking at him and riding him like, Man, you ain't shit. I'm like, man, the man got business to handle, man. He, what are you gonna do? Just standing there, like he, I don't. What, anyway, his sister winds up kind of just going over to, I guess, court course or whatever it was called, and I guess that's in the, the rival neighborhood. So he picks her up, and then they get into a spat in the car, and she was about to jump out a moving car. I said, yo, she is not smart. She got nothing going on up here. It's something is something up here. That ain't right. It's a disconnect because she was about to jump out a moving car that was going at a higher rate of speed because she didn't want to hear what her older brother had to say. Anyway, they wind up having a heart to heart that I really like. He gave her a big stack of money because money cures everything. And um, he tells us that he loves her and he got her, man. And he, when you got relatives, you do got to do that once in a while to give them some reassurance that, listen, I care about you and I got you. And um, I thought that was dope. Uh, pr- And then after that. Like I said, after all the shooting comes out, him and Terry have a heart to heart where they kind of reassure that Terry kind of reassure him. Like, listen, man, I need you to uh, you should have been focusing on the business. He's like, man, oh, man, my brother got shot. I ain't give a fuck about none of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the motherfucker that shot my brother. I wasn't going to stop until I got the money. And Terry respects that. They pound each other up. And it's, it's oh, I love the relationship they got, man. I love seeing brothers like that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really, really care about each other. That's super dope. And um, back at the house, you see uh, Kato dancing and shit. I'm like, oh, look at her. A little, okay, okay. A little 80s dance, whatever it was. Uh, B. Mickey Wayne's coming down there like, all right, I see you. And um, she like, yo, I see how you be looking at me like you want to get in my pants. And he was like, shit, what dude don't want to? And I love his responses. He really reminded me of my dude, Mikey, man. Shout out, Mikey. Uh, and fucking... He gonna wind up getting them cheeks, uh, but he was just kicking it with her, man. And he he put the bist. I don't know why he didn't throw the pistol away that he shot dude with. He wind up putting in the drawer. So and they emphasize on that. So that might be coming back to hunt him for something. I don't know how that's gonna play out. And she says she says something about Meech, and he's like, "Yo, so Meech gotta go or something like that." Or Meech, and I'm like, "Uh oh, like what that mean?" Like he 
he kind of against Meech. And then, you know, you realize when he when he shot dude, he told Meech, he was like, all right, it's cool. I'm going to tell people you did it. Don't worry, but it be our little secret. <laughs> he tried to play him. I'm like, oh, this nigga is slick at the tongue. He said, don't worry about it, bro. I just, <laughs> I said, yo, this nigga, wow. I like dude, though. I like B. Mickey, though, man. You got to watch him, though. He's sneaky. Um... So she like about to leave, and she like, you got some vodka in that fridge, and he like, yeah. She like, all right. She pop her shoes back on. You come. I was like, oh yeah, he about to get them skins. But she tells him like, listen, I'm not trying to get in a relationship with nobody I work with because I don't want you to think that I'm easy or some bullshit. She was talking about. I don't fuck all that, man. I be. That's just me though. Um. So, uh, all in all, I thought it was a decent episode. Um. I liked it, man. It was a great follow up to the first one. Uh, we see the preview for the next one, and we see Wood Harris character Pat. Uh, I guess they short on some bread, so he like, nigga, you short again? Or you don't have my money by such and such. This gonna happen? I'm like, ooh. But at the end, y'all, did you see Lamar fighting dude? Lamar was a uh, Lamar runs up on old light skin dude from the snowfall. I don't listen. I don't know the 12th Street name. I got beef with them. I don't know their names like that. I got wrecked with them because I'm from the 50, 50 boys. Uh, but <laughs> dude is is moving stuff out the stash or whatever. Lamar runs up on him. They get into a fight. Lamar was dusting him. And then dude got start getting his off. Dude start getting his off on Lamar. He kicked Lamar when he had Lamar down. I was just like, all right, bro. Now it's the time to hop in the car. Back up over this nigga, pull over, <laughs> pull up again, and run over this nigga, and then peel off. He all dazed and shit and trying to like engage, and then Lamar wind up just getting the best of him, wind up bashing his head with a paint can, and then threw the nigga in the trash can like he was trash. I said, This nigga Lamar is so disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> so man, that dude always get a bad rap in every show he play, and he always getting beat up or shot or something. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a great episode. Uh, listen, great episode of BMF today. The Bills won. It's a good Sunday, man. I'm feeling nice off this crown. It's Liddy. It's Liddy in the city. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you share this on your Instagram, your Twitter. The spread the word. Let's try to make this page grow. Trying to get 5,000 followers uh, by January. So help me out. And I, I'm doing a giveaway soon. Give you only some shirts. Uh, as always, peace, love, and prosperity. One.